Hi, this is Mike and we're looking at the Aussie dollar chart. So in light of recent updates on my overall big picture analysis, uh, basically I've come to the conclusion that this wave one, two is part of a larger structure that's going to exceed the all time highs for Aussie dollar. Uh, simply say that because it was floated in the eighties, I believe. And that level of $1.50, I believe, will be surpassed. So this definitely looking like a, a pretty good setup overall. Um, and as I mentioned in that video, which I'll link down below in related ideas, um, it's one step ahead of the euro. So the, the magnitude of the degree of trend is just that one step ahead. So interesting all in all um, I want to just go a bit closer to explain a few things so first of all the wave 2 correction I think is is fine I don't think there's any problem with that as per the euro I think this is a wave 1 in its entirety and I think we will see a bit of a pullback to um, basically to correct before it finally begins moving higher so as I mentioned before, these type of uh, wave ones can be retraced pretty quickly and we just don't know how deep that will go. I'd say pretty deep, um, but also we need to see a full correction unless for some reason it happens in a really sharp manner or something like that. So I suppose the thing here to, to try and underst understand is has it actually topped out like the euro appears to have and what was the pattern? So the way that I've looked at this now is going back to the original idea that this large move in the middle here was a D wave. I think that, that that's still right. And I think what happened is that um, it just was an, a, a very long D wave in the end. And, and then we saw a wave E. So to me, that's the only way that it makes sense because otherwise wave C is way too long if you look at it from any other perspective and um, being a zigzag pattern the it just had a weak wave A that's why we had that leading move but all in all I think zigzag completed at this stage so I just want to zoom into the highs there and just have a look at what that pattern could have been there now, because I've seen this pattern recently in the ASX, I'm going to allow it here because I think it's a new finding for myself to have a weak wave A and a weak wave C. I no longer think that it's impossible for that to happen because of what I've, what I've seen recently. And this could be um, the second time I've seen it. So for me, the reasoning behind it is because I am expecting a five wave move here and I do see a lot of zigzags. So wave one here, wave two, wave three, wave four, and this one here, I think it's a wave five, especially because of the overlapping waves um, in the beginning with the last one. So to me, that looks like just a expanded correction within, but only a type one zigzag. So I think that this could be a top here and we could be looking for lower prices. But I just want to talk about one thing I have mentioned before is that this is a five wave move here and this can't be a correction. But if we see one more high that goes in between the top of that wave and, and the high, not above the high, but in between in this area, then it could basically produce a zigzag pattern. Okay, so that could potentially be what's happening here. And it might be a place where it tops out. Um, and that's of course, assuming that this is a wave five here and nothing else. So the alternative I suppose could be that it hasn't quite topped out yet. And this could be A, B, C, with a D wave unfolding, right? As such, E, 
and then the last move, which has to be a zigzag. So how would that look? I don't know. But that's if, you know, we break the highs. That will be the idea that, that will set in for, for this uh, top um, if it breaks the high. If it doesn't break the high and it just goes, makes a double top type thing, um, then there's a good chance that, um, that that's the case. So either way, I don't think we'll, we're going to see it break the lows at the open. Um, unless, of course, this is a really weird and wonderful A, B, C, D, E structure, um, which is possible, I suppose. And the only reason I say that is because if you look at the first wave, it does look like a zigzag, but it doesn't mean that it, that it can't be a five wave move because, I mean, it's too small to really know. But at the same time, um, you see like one, two, maybe three, you know, a four and a five. So it's just something we're going to have to wait and see uh, at the open where that goes. I'm expecting the euro to drop from this point. So, I mean, could that happen here? Well, if, it's ends, if it ends up being that weird corrective pattern that it might be, I suppose it could happen. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Either way, it's probably going to be a good short when it does go down, even if it does take a couple of attempts to do so. Myself, I'm probably just going to short the euro because it looks, you know, like a good head and shoulders pattern that's looking like a good setup uh, for a short. So, I mean, it's only going to be a short-term trade if, you, if you're shorting this obviously we'll be expecting a zigzag first um, if it's the biggest zigzag that'd be good so then we can just have a look at trading that in a particular way um, that it unfolds depending on how it unfolds um, where would it drop down towards well usually there's some kind of confluence between 0.618 or 50 percent and wave four so if we just draw a fib out to that level looks like we have a 50% wave four there um, end of wave four so it could drop down to 50% at least initially um, or it might even go lower who knows just looking for that confluence um, but at this point in time it looks like a wave one completed and yeah it's going to be interesting to see how the rest unfolds because It'll set us up for a long trade once the you know the correction for wave two is uh, looking complete. Um, the levels will be you know, the waves will be indicating you know how we should go long and you know obviously once you get to a certain retracement you could go long from the lows and then move your stop up later or just wait and see what happens. So hopefully you found this video interesting and informative. Thank you for watching.